What up, folks? We're back on Cedar. It's the afternoon. I'm here with my daughter. Bella. And we're going to put some fish in the boat. We're excited. The sun's up finally. She's not as cold. And uh, we're going to fish piles. And then we're going to cast. We're going to do a little bit of everything. I'm going to talk about some of the things you can share with your kids when you take them out fishing during this great time called the spawn. We're going to put some fish in the boat. Yep. <laughs> All right, here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, welcome back to Cedar Lake. Me and Bella are gonna put some hammers in the boat. We can't wait to show you. Today, folks, we're gonna be doing a lot of things. We're gonna be fishing this gnarly weed edge, this weed bed at Cedar. But I'll tell you, the most important thing is putting smiles on your kids' faces. Get your children out. Bella's gonna be doing a lot of the instructing on this video. She wants to teach other kids some of the important things she learned during her trip on Cedar. Again, gnarly weed edge, throwing a float. We're also gonna be throwing all the way up to the riprap. Cedar Lake is an incredible fishery, a lot of fun, very pretty, a perfect lake to get your kids out and fish. And folks, we're still in the spawn. Let's get it on. So Cedar Lake is located between Carbondale, Macanda, Illinois. That's kind of the area. It actually provides the water for Carbondale and it's actually partially owned by the federal government as well. Um, it is 1,700 acres, so it's a smaller lake. It is a 9-9 lake, so you definitely need to have one of these bad boys who Reno has loaned me and Bella to use for whenever. So, what else can I tell you about Cedar? It is a incredibly nice lake. If you've ever been to Kincaid Lake, to me it's a smaller version of a Kincaid. Uh, it's clear water. But it was uh, 1974 when they dammed up, I believe it was the Big Muddy, and I might have to check that, but in 1974 is when this lake was actually dammed up and created. So 1750 acre-wise, it's a good lake, beautiful lake. It's very peaceful. Especially when you only have, it's very cold, Bella says. So we're gonna cast some uh, floats up against the Rip wrap now, we've done some vertical jigging. We feel good about that. We're catching a lot of small, so we're gonna try something. Uh, what we tried this morning didn't work out well, so we're gonna go back to that. Maybe the sun coming up is gonna help that case out. up against the weed edge had some success now we're just moving out trying to find some it's a little guy some success on some other things and this is a great example of where you can take your kids anytime you see a beaver dam right there uh, fish it because at the end of the day you're gonna catch fish bluegill bass on this there's a lot of small crappie obviously but it's a lot of fun what's my little one doing eating <laughs> the 
this is a good spot for bluegill too, man. If you're gonna go bluegill fishing, they love these areas. Of course, bluegill and crappie kind of like the same thing, really. One thing I learned is to not reel the fish all the way in so you can just swing it towards you and grab it. Instead of trying to reach up all the way to the top of your pole, it's much easier to just swing it in. I can speak. There you go. So set the hook. Another thing to consider is setting the hook by pulling the pole up when you feel the fish bite, not by reeling it in. I know it may be scary for some kids, but it's really not that hard to take off uh, a fish off a hook. Um, so you take, make sure to go over the fins and grab it tight. And once you have it tight, you can easily get the hook out. There you go. to re-measure out your line. An easy way to do this is by knowing the size of your pole. And so I need 10 feet of line. So I measure to about the size of my pole and then I go about two more feet. Because I'm using an eight foot rod. So definitely the new thing is social media for kids, at least new for me. I mean, first time I've had my 15 year old in the boat in a long time, getting to experience that is kind of fun to watch. So you have to kind of be relaxed about social media, the phone and the, and the, uh, the boat. It's not just about fishing, it's about them having a great time. And let me tell you, we had a great time. Bella's having a great time doing the YouTube trying to get used to it how, how to do it i'm actually encouraging it because i think it'd be great for uh her so anyway we had a great time on cedar we've got a couple more catches coming here i'm hoping to do a video every season every you know post spawn summer fishing winter fishing with one of my children just to kind of share the experience with other people and hopefully encourage other people to get their kids out today this is the biggest catch of the day <laughs> please subscribe please subscribe let's go <laughs> Hey folks, if you like this kind of content, please do me a favor and subscribe. And if you're interested in guide trips, you can email me at 3 poundfishing at gmail.com. We are going to have a full summer and post-spawn of guide trips, and it is going to be awesome. Trust me, getting on those piles right after the spawn is an incredible experience. Thanks for watching another 3 Pound Fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.